Once again, Minecraft! It's been a while. It's been a very long while since my last update on the old doofers for you, with you, whatever, um, on Minecraft. And I know that this is coming out to you on a Tuesday. And, um, well, I don't know. What can I do? Nothing much. There's been some updates when it comes to Voidbound. And I thought it was about time that I filled you in. Um, an old Lembley, we haven't seen Lembley in a long time, but it's not his fault. Um, he couldn't really run it. I think he only plays vanilla because he can't play f uh, uh, Feed the Beast, so no one ever plays with him. And uh, I, I, You know, he's still my mate. And he's still out there. And maybe one day he'll come back. But, you know, he's got other concerns. But let's get on with something else. Hello and welcome to the um, the Voidbound, the new Voidbound FTB server, which has been updated to a different pack. Now, the reason it's been updated to a different pack is because let's uh, let's be honest, it was laggy, it was filled with bugs, most of the mods didn't work together properly. When they did, they clashed. And there was just there was just terrible, terrible, terrible horribleness with the whole thing. And I know that they were trying to balance it. And it was it was a beta pack, really. Um, it wasn't like totally publicly. Uh, you know what I mean? Wow, there's lots of crates up there with eggs in it. They're making ja they're making egg barrels. I it I'll show you in a minute. You can hear the chickens in the background. Okay, so let's get on with it. <laughs> I'm just talking rubbish now. I've been talking rubbish for about two minutes. Okay, so... Hello and welcome to the Voidbound Tour. I'm going to show you around this little area now, this little place. Um, this was supposed to be the town hall, and it's turned into the storage hall. Um, the little shack. <laughs> if you want to see the first days of this... Uh, go and check out either uh, out any one of the other Voidbounders uh, videos. Um, I believe Shy Guy Squid and Griffin and Flint, uh, Flint, St St Flint and Steel Gaming or whatever it is. Anyway, they they've got um, um, videos of uh, them actually making spawn and uh, being caught in the darkness and having to dig out this this place just so that they can hide for the night. So if you want to check that out. Mm, mana cookies. I love mana cookies. It's from the Botanica mod, by the way. So yeah, this is the uh, this is the old um, uh, what was supposed to be the town hall is now just a storage place. Uh, it should really be gutted out and um, and made into the town hall. You know, uh, possibly have some stairs going up into another room up the top. But um, yeah, we'll we'll get onto that later. I believe we're going to have a district as well. We're going to make some um, streets and stuff where we're going to build houses so we can uh, uh, basically stay together like we did on the Voidbound server. And I think it's a good idea because, let's be honest, we get a lot more social interaction when we do it that way. Okay, so let's be let's continue the our little um, our little look around spawn. Um, which is basically the living area. Okay, so um, we were all given jobs, and my jobs were um, rancher, I, uh, yeah, rancher and a librarian. So my job was to make um, places for animals to breed. Um, so this is my little uh, the chick, the chicken cooperator for eggs and feathers, and um, as you can see, it's very effective very very effective uh, a little bit more effective than I was uh, anticipating at the time when making it but it is extremely effective okay so down here we have um, this is the generator room and we're having some uh, we're having some con we're have, uh, oh, constant magma uh, so that means that he's actually set up something in the nether he's gonna find out um, uh, soon that um, the nether lava actually does get used up. It's not um, 
It's a wives' tale about it being um, infinite. It's not infinite. You have to keep use. You have to keep moving the uh, the pump constantly, and eventually the, the the place does drain, and then you have to generate more lava um, by walking in a certain direction. So it's not infinite. The only way of making infinite lava is by making a thing that I made before, but it, which wasn't very effective, which was called the um, the magma loop. Uh, using magma crucibles powered by a magma generator, so it it create. But then that really isn't constant lava because you have to change netherrack into lava, and really you get you hit you hit a wall like you do with everything. But you know, well whatever. Uh, this is a mob generator. I don't know why we've got it, uh, but it's making um, mob essence. And it's um, it's a zombie ge generator, and it's uh, which is better than nothing, I suppose. It's better than nothing. I don't know who built it though. If someone could tell me who built this, in the comments or something, I'd be rather appreciative. This is my botanic area where I've been setting up a little bit of uh, some botanica stuff, growing some um, growing some flowers. I grew these flowers from the uh, from the uh, uh, sun. Grew these flowers for me. Uh, this is uh, where I make most of my Botanica stuff. I'm slowly growing up on that and getting quite good. This is supposed to be a hotel uh, because we have a hotel manager. Um, I don't know who's doing that. I think it, get, people are getting sidetracked on their jobs and it's not good. Okay, up here we've got um, a, a little place which was made by... I believe it was... It's being crafted and honed out by Mitch, and he is a good builder, and he's made this farmland, which a lot of people don't use. Um, although, to tell you the truth, um, I probably will start using the um, wheat from this area, because I need lots of wheat. But uh, yeah, this is the little farmland um, where we can get melons and and stuff. Basically, uh, we've got to find another um, berry bush. Uh, well, I don't know where to find uh, the berry bush that we need. I believe it's uh, blackberry. We've got to find blackberry because when we find blackberry, we'll be able to make um, berry medley, which is my favourite food, to be honest. Although, to be honest. I have been uh, liking m uh, mana cookies lately because a mana cookie can fill up your hunger almost instantly. Let's continue this little uh, this little tour of spawn for you. Uh, yes. Okay, we've seen that. So let's uh, continue this direction. Oh yeah. Um, these are daisies uh, for making uh, living wood and living rock. Uh, and also this is uh, where you put the petals and stuff. Oh, it looks like the sun's going down. I might have to sleep in a minute. With my with my sleeping bag. Oh, yeah. So look, look at that. You want to sleep on that? Because it's concrete. It's funny. It's hilarious. Okay, so there we go. Ooh, do, 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 do. Any minute now, and the sun's up there. We go perfect. Right. Okay, so this is the barn where we keep our livestock and it looks like people have been breeding which is good I like that I like the fact that people are adding to my build I don't mind that at all I'm I'm quite happy with it uh, this has been fixed this is where we have um, got our um, uh, jobs from when we logged on uh, it was made by Shy Guy Squid, I believe, who uh, was formerly, ma uh, formerly known as Manta. And so was this. And I tell you what, he's done a good job on this. Because this looks awesome. I mean, okay, I, um... I built the tip... Oh! Oh, God, please don't crash on me. It's not like I'm even playing. Okay, please don't crash on me. Okay, so I built the bricks and everything for this, but... When it comes to the design and where everything is placed, oh, weird. Um, that was that was Manta, except for this up here, which was kind of my idea. I decided that 
you know, we needed to bring the lava up from the bottom so we don't have to keep bringing the buckets up, you know, so that was me, but everything else in here is definitely Manta, and this goes all the way down to the mine down below, it pretty much looks the same, so there's no point in going down and showing you down there, but this is just awesome, this is, this is a good build, this is good solid build. Uh, this here, this oh, everything's got garage doors on it, by the way. Uh, this is a carpentry garage door, as you can see. Uh, they're they're pretty good because you can make them into any any colour you want or any brick you want, which l makes it look good. Um, this is our this is our Nether place um, where we go into the Nether. I hate the Nether, but uh, that's what that's for. Um, it was made by. Um, I can't remember who got the nether expert. It don't matter. This is a, a, um, a, the library. Um, I built it and um, people have been using it, which is good. See that? It's like a glass partition. <laughs> which is awesome. Um, people keep forgetting to close my door. Are you born in a barn? <laughs> my, my, uh, my dad used to say that to me all the time. Anyway, there we go. Fill that up. I like to close my door because it looks good. That's what it's there for. To look good. Uh, nobody has made any books so far. Um, it's pretty much my job to do that. But everyone keeps stealing all the XP so I can't make books. Yeah. Uh, you know, I don't want to like moan, but it's true. Um, but they can they can use the XP. It's fine. Um, but we got to try and fill those bookshelves. So what I want to do is I want to fill those bookshelves with books. Because what's the point in having a library without books in it? Anyway, that's still there. That should be taken away because we don't need it. Uh, this is the Thorncraft Lab. Um, I'm not too. Uh, I want to show what I wanted to do with it, but um, it looks all right, and we'll leave it that way. Um, this is, what's that? All right, for making the for making the ritual play. Oh, and he really has started working quite expertly on this uh, on this little place. Wow, um, just wow. D&H is, um, is um, um, fooling around with a little bit of um, Thorncraft and so is everyone else after I made this lab and that's good because that's what I, I built it for in the first place so yeah they, they, they really have been adding on to this I like it I like it a, I like it a lot I haven't got the research but I can get the research off the guys later because I did all the Thermcraft before and I don't really want to do all the research again because I've already done it once and I really don't want to do it again so I'm going to ask them if uh, they can create that book of um, knowledge sharing so that I can you know pick up on everything that they've built because I already know everything about it you know and I don't want to do the research again it's just going to abolish the holy bejesus out of me this is Griffin's build I don't know if uh, she. Uh, well, anyway, she's the wood. She's the wood woodworker. She's the woodworker. She's making wood for us and stuff. And I don't want. What is this? Ah, oh, for fertilizer. All oh, right. Yeah. 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 Uh, she's also been doing bees, as you can see. It's been making a lot of flowers. She loves her flowers and her trees, though. So. Yeah, that shack down there you can see in the distance. That is a witch's hut, and because uh, witchery brings in a lot of different mobs, and so does th so does apparently I can't speak, you know. So does Thorncraft, and so does um, I said witchery, didn't I? Thorncraft and Ender Zoo, it's called <coughs> Ender Zoo. There's some cats, right? And there was this ginormous cat. Um, it's probably despawned now, so I couldn't show you, but it was huge. This cat was huge. I was like, oh my god, I can't believe the size of that cat. You could ride the cat. It was like a horse. 
I reckon it was about... It, no, it wasn't as big as a horse. That was exaggeration. But, yeah, it was It was big. It was big. So, and... Oh, God damn it. I can't believe how effective... I just can't believe how effective that is. Oh, I think I'm going to crash. It don't matter anyway. Because the tour is over, ladies and gentlemen. That's pretty much all she wrote. And I am going to log off now. So, um, yeah, oh yeah, and I've been doing Draconic Evolution as well. Because um, I found some stuff. And this is my, this, this is my Draconic Evolution information tablet. Uh, using this dust. This is a new mod I haven't actually uh, had um, a look into yet, so it's a, it's a new thing to do. Apparently most of the stuff that you find is going to be in the in the um, in the end, um, and this is um, the items you can make with it. Not entirely sure what to do with it, but um, it looks good, doesn't it? I love purple. Purple's one of my favourite colours, so I'm going to look into this a little bit more, and hopefully it'll be as fun as all the other mods that I enjoy, which is concerned with magic. Also, we're thinking of building a giant reactor as well, so I've been picking up some yellow right. We'd be going. I've been going. Um, where is it? Where's my yellow right? Yellow right there. I've been um, uh, running around trying to find um, that stuff so we can make a, a giant reactor and power it. Uh, it's probably going to be a while before I find that, but uh, yeah. So that's all I wanted to say. Um, little tour of what we were doing here. Uh, if there's anything you want to see built, or uh, you have any suggestions about the next update that I bring you, I don't know when it will be, but um, feel free to post in the comments. Uh, so, as always, thanks for watching. Give me some thumbs up, love. Subscribe for more, and I'll see you guys next time. Oh yeah, sorry. Before we before we go off, gotta don't don't click off yet. There's something I have to tell you, and that is that my mum is off for a week, and that means that there's going to be a bit of disruption with me uploading. Maybe I'll bring you some camera footage or whatever that I I can do in the time being. But there may be a break. There may not be, but there may be a break in some of the videos that I bring out. I know I only bring out two a week anyway, but. Uh, you know, it's just difficult to bring you stuff. So, yeah, um, if there's a disruption, I apologize. It'll only be for one week anyway. And um, hopefully we can get back to normal. So, thanks. And I'll see you guys next time.